This is it. This is the video you've all been waiting for. Introducing Starbase Alpha. That's right, your boy Kenato got a key, and here I am. This is live in game. As you can see, stuff works like message of the day, and we can jump straight into the universe. When you first begin, you'll get to create a character. It's super simple. You just hit that one button. This pops up as character zero. It's currently unchangeable. You can't name your character yet, nor can you have extra characters. After that, you can just hit enter universe. Boom, just like that, you're in the game. How cool is that? No loading screens, nothing, just works. I love it. So welcome to the alpha station. This is where we are all starting. As you can see, assets are popping in as they load in. This will be quite frequent throughout this video. It is an alpha, please do remember that. This is not final by any stretch. You will also see LOD popping with ship models and, and such. But this is it. This is where everyone starts. This is where you spawn in right at the start of the game. This is the origin point, as we call it. In here, you'll find the command station. While there's not really anything in this part of the station it does look really cool it is something we've seen in previous videos in terms of movement i could either walk up this ramp here and go all the way up or i can hold jump which is the space bar and i can fly and it will always bring me back down because of the mag boots within a certain radius you can turn them off with the g key and then now i'm just floating around space Over here we've seen this scene in both the reports and the Starbase 2020 trailer. We've got a cool advertisement on the side, but what we really want out of this point is this panel over here. This is a respawn point. In addition to being able to respawn at the origin point, you can sync yourself to one of these terminals and you'll be able to respawn. At the moment it costs us nothing and we've got infinite respawns. When you respawn you keep everything you had in your inventory. Any point, I can just press G and it will bring me back down to the ground with the mag boots. So if we head outside, the main areas that you'll want to go right at the start will be the market, which is over this way, and the job center, which is over this way. Right now, there's the assembly job and the mining job available. There is a destruction or deconstruction job coming soon in a third area, which we'll get to see. Up here we'll see the first ship I ever bought. This is the Tugger. Oh look, another Endo. He's not going to be able to steal my ship. Ooh. Just the F key to jump straight in. And we can power up and go once I hit the YOLO button. There we go, and we're off. So we're just going to fly over to the job center. Slow that down just a little bit. If you are too close to any of the buildings, it will want to despawn you. So we're just going to go up a little bit until we're just out the despawn area. There we go. You can press tab and you get mouse control and you can activate all of these levers. Or you can just hit tab again and you can just use keyboard bindings. You can look down in your seat, see the blue outline, hit F, you'll jump off your ship. Now, as you can see, I'm a bit wonky and that's really no good for anybody, especially if I want to walk on this ground or be level with the station. As you can see, landing doesn't really help much. So what we're going to need to do, even though my grab boots are working, is look at the floor and hit Q. We're now orientated to the piece I was looking at and we are flat. Here we have another respawn station. Initially, these will all be empty and you'll have to go to each of these stations to activate them. This one is the mining job station. So let's head into the mining job and have a little quick look. I'm going to press G to undo my mag lock and I'm just going to fly in here. Now, as you can see, these areas have these kind of blue hologram things up around them. Once you're in, that's it. This is now an instant zone. Only you and the people in your group are allowed to be in here. Since I'm not in a group, I'm by myself. Now here you can borrow a pickaxe, which will only work in this area and will be taken from you afterwards, and then spawn a new asteroid to do the job. I'll be showing off both this job and the other jobs 
in a later video. If we head back out, we can head on over this way and we can go see the assembly job. Now, a lot of people have said that both the flying and walking speeds both need increasing. Now, while I agree with the walking speed, I think the jetpack should stay as it is. Going this slowly really shows off the scale of the station so well because it takes so long to get anywhere. Now, here we have the other job, the assembly job, and just like the other one, it has this blue area in front of it. Once we go in, we'll once again be in our own instance. Here you can make different things, like different chairs and thrusters. The instructions will pop up here. Once you've built it, you pop it in here and you get your credits. And it even tracks a handy credits per minute, which is really good to make sure you're getting the most out of your time. Now you will be grinding these areas pretty hard to afford your first ship. Heading back to my ship now. If I want to just continually fly in one direction, a really good keybind is the insert button, which will just fly you constantly in one direction. Or it will auto run you. To our left here, we can see what looks like the destroyed remains of a ship. Now, we are in a safe zone and you can't kill each other. But if you do make a ship or edit your ship and it's not structurally sound, then you're going to have a problem and your ship will break apart like we can see in front of us. After you've ground some cash a little bit, you can get this first mining ship, although I'd advise saving up for a better one. And if I was wearing a mining backpack, I could activate the tether to the resource bridge. But since I'm not yet, we'll just carry on. Now I need to reactivate my YOLO. And now I can fly. So we'll head over to the market now. Outside the market is a despawn area for your ships. You can easily despawn your ships here. In fact, I'll stop in this and show you the despawn. There we go. Little despawn window in the right hand side. We can get out our ship. Hit tab to get mouse control and despawn. Once again, we're wonky. So I'm just going to look at the ground and press Q. Now let's fly on into the station. And we'll get to the market everyone who's been trying to crack the puzzle knows and loves. But first, a quick little detour to yet another one of these stations. This one's for the marketplace and this is where it will spawn you. If I just run over here, I can show you that menu straight away. So at anywhere in the entire world right now, you can just hit escape, insurance transfer, and I can go marketplace. And I will reappear here every time with everything I had in my inventory but without any ships that I was currently on. Now at the moment this is free, as I said before, but in the future, this will not be free, this will cost you money. Maybe you can see another player. So once you've been on the mining hall, this is the first place you wanna come, cause you'll come over here and you'll activate your storage. Once you've here and you've mined some ores, you can then sell them here as well. I'll have a full mining trip video for you coming to my channel very soon. Going into the shop now, we have the frame store. These will sell uh, station parts. I believe the main shopping terminals are both over here where you can buy station plates and stuff. And then there's another couple of terminals just through here. Going further around, we'll get a little bit of a ramp up. And I'm gonna turn to flying here because it's a little bit easier and you don't get the clunking. You've got a couple of screens for your inventory management over here, but you can access your inventory at any time. Now, I could go upstairs, but we're going to stick downstairs for now. We've got the bolt store here. Here where you'll find general tools and things that you'll need to edit your ships. So we've got a couple of attachment plates that you can buy here. The bolt tool, building tool, the buzzsaw, cable tool, pipe tool, all of these are crucial if you want to try and build your own ship, especially outside of the editor. We've got a couple more routes to go upstairs, but first, as well as a few advertisements there, we've got another shop to visit just over here. Now in this shop, you'll find kind of general use stuff for your ships. So 
cargo lock beams, lock frames, as well as backpacks, including the large backpack and the mining backpack, which you'll need if you want to go mining. And absolutely essential is the pickaxe. Now, these things are only a couple of thousand or less than a thousand credits at most. So make a couple of thrusters or mine a couple of asteroids in the mining job and you will be set to be able to buy these items. Continuing around the ground floor of the station, we can go into the mag shop. Now the mag shop is where all the DACA is. But before we jump in there, there is another shop coming soon. Who knows what will be in there? Possibly the used ship shop. Not currently in game, but it could be something else as well. In here, we have all the weapons you need. We've got example turrets here with rail guns and flat cannons. As well as pre-made armored turrets as well. You can get all this stuff again, another terminal just over there. So we'll continue back through the shop and head on out. Of course, we also have uh, examples of more weaponry here as well. We've got plasma weaponry, rail guns, flat cannons. But we'll continue through. Coming out this way, the ground floor completes its cycle and we're back to where we started. So if we head back in now, probably go through a few shops that we missed. On this left hand side here, we have the funky Star Soul shop. In here we'll find ship parts like fuel tanks, fuel rods and stuff that you'll need to keep your ship running, including batteries. Down here we've got luxury items. These are some of the more expensive items, one would say. Or at least not in the case of uh, beams. But this is just for beams this side. And on this side you'll find all the different platings, decorative uh, stuff that you can attach to your ship. As well as other items. Continuing through to the main hall, we get back to just where we were before. But here we can follow the stairs or the ramps to go back up. Now you can either go up this way or you can go up this way. It completely does not matter which way you go as long as you get up there. So let's head on up and see what we'll find. Right at the top here you'll find the kite shop. Now this is where you will buy all those additional armor pieces to completely customize your endo and speaking of endos if i just land quickly i can hold the alt button and use my scroll wheel to scroll out and then continue holding alt to show you my body now this is the armor set that i'm currently wearing i have all of the armor sets so far and you'll find them all in here we've got civilians as you can see Good example of Alpha here. That one's missing a C in the name. They'll fix that soon, no doubt. But they've got a good couple of different armor sets here. I've got them all. I'll be showing all of these off in another video. Now, continuing through, we've got all the pieces. In here you'll be able to buy refined ores, you'll be able to use these to repair your ship with the build tool or to make station lot buildings. Nice advertisement for the Sunny Ship Centre. A bit kind of devious because the only ship you can buy here is the Vasama. All the rest of the ships are bought in a separate part of the station. Now the Vasama, quite expensive at 163,000 credits. But we'll head on up and continue the tour. Now up here we find the weapon shop. All the personal weapons you can muster. Everything from the anti-gel gun, grenade launcher, repeater pistols to the rocket launcher and not only that you can also find the ammo for them here as well which a lot of people seem to be having trouble finding it's just on the other side of this wall here so all the ammo here 
and all the guns on this side. But that's it. We all should rotate round now back to the kite and be able to get back out. But I'm going to take the secret route at the front of the station here where the nice viewing platform is where we can see other endos flying about and the, the ship dock area. It's a small lift core. Now while there's no lift itself running, you can just fly down here and this will take you directly to the entrance. And here we are, we're back out. So what we're going to do is we're going to spawn the ship and I'm going to show you the other areas of the station. So down here we have our list of ships both in and out the station. I've got a Vasama. My Vasama is missing because it bugged out and flew off. We've got the tug which I was flying and we've also got the hauler which is the ship that you really want if you want to make money. So we'll just spawn that, it appears on the station, you've got 60 seconds to get in your ship and fly it away or it will automatically despawn and go back to the station storage. Now I left the YOLO button on so I don't need to activate that and my ship will work fine. So let's head over the middle of the station where there's really not a lot you can do with it and we'll go check out the ship shop. On our left here you can see the Starship Designer Station. If you want a unique ship, you're going to have to design your own. But I'll do a complete video of what it takes to build your own ship as well as showing off some of the examples that are there in another video. We will take a quick little visit in there, but first we're going to go into the ship shop. I'm just going to stop here and jump out any closer and I'll be in the landing zone and my ship will want to despawn. So as I just fly down here you must have noticed just then the lights turning on. As always Alpha will show a few weird things and a lot of the time you'll see the majority of weirdness happening in this particular shop. Now in here we see examples of all the ships. We've got the pincer and you can see the name pincer and the price unfortunately there's not really any stats or description of them yet for a lot of the ships we've got the vasama vinette we've got the twin vasama and the normal vasama here as well now i'm going to go over each of these ships uh in a separate video on a full tour of this part of the station but as you can see there are a lot of ships in here and it's all really nicely lit in here as well devs have done an amazing job on this so many lights so many ships so many objects and everything just looks awesome so if I just quickly go and jump back in my ship which should be up here somewhere. This is always the trouble. You can lose your ship anywhere. Uh, I was about this way somewhere. Unless someone's stolen my ship. There it is. Nearly got it right. So let's jump on in and just quickly zoom over to the other side of this shop now over here on the other side of the ship shop there is yet another respawn terminal that I want to show you guys once you've registered all of these terminals it will allow very very fast travel between all the station areas as we come in here we'll see even more ships that we have for sale as well as more parts shops that you can buy in here as well. But jumping down here, you will see as we get closer, here we have another terminal. So this one will be the ship shop.
jumping back in just before we head over to the Starship Designer. To the right of us here, we all see the asteroid drop-off area. So if you're going out and you're grabbing one in a cargo lock beam and you're bringing the entire asteroid back, this is where you want to drop it off and they'll give you credits for the entire asteroid. Let's head on over. Short time to get here. Boom. Jump on out. And you'll see that this place too has more of these instanced areas. Now inside here you can start a ship design session or you can start one as a group. Now doing it as a group means that more than one person can edit the ship at one time, which can be very, very useful. If you'd like another teleport location, we have one just onto the side here. You can just about see it in the center of the screen just under the stairs. Activate to that and you'll be able to teleport here at any point. Heading back out we can see someone's hauler here, obviously just coming in to check another ship or just come back with a fresh new load of ore and are gonna spend it on a brand new ship. But it's a cool little ship, I've got one and I'll be happy to show it to you a little bit later. Jumping back in now, the only place left to go visit on this station will be the VIS command center. Yeah, I'm just going to fly up to the top here. And we can see this orange colored station. This is the VIS. Now I've come out a bit wonky, but whoop. Oh, soon rotate myself around the right way once again with the Q key. This is a really cool underused part of the station and I kind of like it. I'm looking forward to seeing what this will be used for in the future and what will happen here, what ships will be spawned here. All of these weird pointy s sticks coming out from any part of the station all seem to be spawn terminals. You can spawn ships all over this station as well as land them in landing pads like just over there. But let's head on to this into this part of the station and have a little look see. The lighting in this area is actually really really cool and this main hall has a really grand feel to it. And the deep red accents from with the lighting is just has an extra level to it here you can see a really nice logo for the VIS Empire run part of the station Blech. but let's go have a little look what else is in this thing because I'm pretty sure we can find a couple of cool things to look at now again this is another part of the building that has this weird lift shaft and in this part of the station we'll start at the bottom we have two loading docks loading dock A and loading dock B you'll see from here very simple areas that you can either despawn or spawn your ship in same for the landing dock A as well so a cool little area just there to spawn your ship. Going up we get to storage. Which is mostly just an empty area and I think there's ramps to get up to the next floor on the other side of this hall. The main hall we were just in and just looking at. You can see these glass windows revealing the inside as well which is really cool. This area is called the generator which gives me really awesome Battlestar Galactica vibes and just the lighting is just sublime in this area. Heading back up some more we will go check out one of the office floors. It's offices nearly all the way to the top. 
But in this area, there are seats that you can sit in and screens that currently have no use. Eventually, I'm guessing all this will be full with people doing some sort of work or maybe even NPCs in the future. But in this part of the station, you can find the magic number 16. I haven't found 16 anywhere else yet in the game, so this is the only place you can find it. Here we can see set up for even more screens. Obviously these will be used for something in the future. Now most of these office floors are the same, so we're going to skip all the way to the top to check out the final part of the station. Here we have the roof landing area where you can spawn and despawn ships, as well as the spires that stick out at the top. I love this part of the station because it also acts as a really cool viewing area to see the rest of the station, and you can really appreciate the scale of this thing. As you can see out in the sky, you've got the Empire Station there and the Kingdom Station. We'll have to have a go at having a little tour of those stations in another video. But for now, I just want to take a little tour around the station and see what sort of wrecks and ships we can find lying around. It's only been a short time that we've been able to play the Alpha so far, but there are ships, wrecks and weird things going on everywhere. It'd be cool to show these off just a little bit. So jumping back in the ship now, let's have a little fly around. The station looks awesome both in the dark and in the daytime with sunlight on it, which glistens off a lot of different areas. Oh look, there we can see another ship pulling away. Just looks awesome with the trails hanging behind it. Speeding around, we can see another small ship there. You can tell it's maneuvering thrusters only from the white plumes that come off the background. Now, over here somewhere is a cool little art ship that someone has left behind. I'm still yet to find out who the owner of this ship is, but I will find out one day. Someone has made a UFO in this game. As you can see, there's a low level of detail model there. And as I get a bit closer, it will take a short amount of time. Teleport and load in the high dwelling model. <laughs> I did say it was alpha, folks. Here you can see twin plasma guns on the one side and a pilot seat on the other. Super cool. It's been sitting here since almost the start of alpha. I think it's absolutely crazy. But that's all for now. I hope you've enjoyed the tour and a little look at what's been going on in the main station of the closed alpha. Things are slowly, slowly heating up with different types of ships as people are earning more money and buying new ships, designing their own ships and having a damn good time here. Stay tuned for more videos. I'll be showing off both the jobs and what it takes to earn a bit more money. I'll be showing off the ship designer in its own video and you'll be able to see everything you can do within that as well. Let me know if there's anything else that you want to see out of these videos and I'll be sure to oblige you. But for now, it's time to get back to Alpha. So I'll see you in the next one. Kenator out.